My name is Claire and this paper is about theatre in heritage which facilitates en engagement with archaeological and environmental issues. I'm currently undertaking a research portfolio exploring the potential of creative drama as a learning tool in museums and heritage, examining current projects in academia, proposing, running and evaluating projects in museums, exploring the project the potential to develop drama as an education, educational tool in museums and heritage. One research question I'm exploring is what are the unique benefits and potential of drama as a learning tool in museums and heritage. For this paper I wanted to speak about theatre in heritage which facilitates engagement with archaeological and environmental issues with some case studies relating to ideas about raising environmental awareness, archaeology and ethical responsibility of museums. Today my case studies are all performances which took place in the British Museum. Why did I develop this idea? I think theatre can help people deal with climate change through creative engagement rather than be upset or that they feel they may not have control over or find the issue too big to comprehend or deal with. Um, climate change is perceived to be caused by human actions in the past and present and it will affect the future. These are themes that are explored in the theatre I have observed in, um, for this paper. I am interested in how this is presented from a heritage viewpoint since this is my academic background. I've studied how environmental issues have been explored in the recent new theatre scene, contemporary theatre scene. Um, sorry. For this paper, I've concentrated on examples which, which fit with the themes of this conference. So for my sources, I've watched performance and researched articles about, on the internet about what's happening now in theatre. And in this um, website, I'm going to bring up websites um, so that if people are interested in the topic, they can just re read more about it on the, on the websites. To give an example of an official performance in the British Museum, which um, in the great, I attended um, at a performance in the Great Court of the um, British Museum called Millions of Years um, in 2016 in the British Museum Great Court. And this was um, a work inspired by Philip Glass's opera Ochnarton that was then showing at the English um, the Colosseum in London. The, Opera Agnach is about the ancient Egyptian pharaoh, um, a king who um, ruled in ancient Egypt in the 14th century BC. He established a new cult dedicated to Aten, the sun's disk. Millions of years included elements which engaged with plastics and environmental issues in the present and future in an official performance lasting about 45 minutes. But the, fo the focus was on responding, responding to Glass's opera and, and to the museum collections. This was a collaborative theatrical piece with professional artists from English National Opera who worked with 120 performers from groups such as Streetwise Opera who worked with the homeless and Brixton Young Theatre Workshops. So this like facilitated like unique engagement. Um, workshops took place over eight weeks in spring 2016. Um, Information on the English National Opera website states that participants created a series of moving tableau, learning extracts from the opera and generating original material. The, the piece was site-specific and used, including a new section written for the museum performance. This included a song in scene four, Materials, The Plastic Age, a scene where archaeologists from the future find out about our, our society through tr traces of plastic left behind. This was inspired by the end of the opera, Agnatum, where the storyline story zooms forward in, in time. This was in, um, the, plat the plastic age explored in imaginative ideas about the present and future, including the power of the sun and impact of non biodegradable trash. The song was written by composer John Barber with participants from Brixton Youth Theatre and a community choir. The lyrics about the fact that plastics we are using now were strong and would take a long time to break down. I looked up meanings of the word of the phrase plastic age online to find out what other contexts the phrase, phrase have been used. 
in an article on the um, Leicester University website states that human impact has created a plastic planet, research shows, and that evidence suggests that Earth is entering an age of plastic. The performance of the sun, the plastic age, in millions of years involved Gandini jugglers holding yellow balloons with sticks and in a net and then releasing them into the air. The standing crowd, um, the standing crowd and the audience played with the released balloons, which represented the sun, past and present. After this, performers juggled with blue plastic bags. There were videos on YouTube of the performance. As it was a free performance presented on the floor of the Great Court of the British Museum, it was easily accessible to audiences, those who had planned to see it and people who encountered the performance by chance. So there wasn't a div traditional division between audience and performance, as in an auditorium. So, so to end my talk, in, in February, um, in February 2009, um, I saw the performance of Akhenaten in London Palladium because I, I enjoyed a millions of years so much that I thought I must buy a ticket for this rerun of Akhenaten with an English national opera. This was a rerun. The opera was originally performed in 1985. The English National Opera states that Akhenaten is a mesmerising work which draws on ancient hymns, prayers and inscriptions sung in the original e Egyptian, he Hebrew and Akkadian. The opera's unique mood transport you back to the ancient world through music that combines glasses, characteristic minimalist voice with stylized movement and choreographed juggling to visualise the visions of a score. I noticed elements of the performance I had seen in the British Museum in the production on stage. Watching the performance and studying the programme, I looked at how ideas relating to engagement with archaeology were an essential part of the production. In this paper, I just wanted to explain a bit more context about the development of the original opera Akhenaten and the close relationship to archaeology. An, an arch article in the, pro in the programme um, by John Richardson, author of a book of a study of Akhenaten called Singing Archaeology in 1999, explains that the phrase singing archaeology was coined by an archaeologist who collaborated with Glass on his project writing his opera. The libretto was compiled by, by him and Glass, and it relies almost entirely on historical text on from artefacts found from the era of the Egyptian Sun King, which aren't translated, so the opera's um, in the original language. Okay, a large part of the information in the program for Akhenaten relates elements of performance to archaeological projects, such as a double page, a double page spread about juggling an ancient Egypt and wall painting. So the performance like took a lot of elements from their archaeological um, findings. An article, The Archaeology of Akhenaten by Alice Stevenson, Associate Professor in Museum Studies at UCL, examines the life of the real Akhenaten through archaeology, giving the story of development of archaeology in Egypt from the earliest digs, and interpretations of Akhenaten from the wealth of related archaeological material. In the performance at the British Museum, these elements were developed to engage with the plastic ele element of the contemporary environment. So, yeah, just to finish, I believe that creative performance is a constructive way to engage with ideas surrounding environmental change through engagement um, with ideas that can seem too big to comprehend. With a BP or not BP protest, the performers express their ideas relating to climate issues at events which strive for an ethical legacy. With millions of years, ideas about the environment were blended into a performance not in an alarmist way, however, it recognises the fact that of environmental issues are now a part of the history of the world. Okay, thanks.